What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Corey, and today we're going to talk about if Brawl Stars is dying. There's been a lot of negativity around the game recently, and I want to talk about whether I think Brawl Stars is going to go global or is it going to die. All right, let's get into it. Alright, so first off, I want to start out by talking about all the things that's not going well with Brawl Stars, all the proof that Brawl Stars is not doing well right now. And then I want to talk about putting it in context. What does this really mean? Is the game really dying or are we missing some stuff? And then I'm going to talk about maybe how we can improve the state of the game and how we can fix it. All right, so let's start out with some of the negatives, some of the proof that Brawl Stars could be dying, that Brawl Stars isn't doing well right now. Well, first off, my firsthand experience and my the experience of all the other Brawl Stars content creators, the views for Brawl Stars has dropped dramatically. All of the views for all of the Brawl Stars channels are pretty much down. Myself, Lex. Kairos, all of our views for each video is about down by a good amount compared to what it was before. It's basically back to around the levels of before December. Probably the bigger change though is our subs. We're no longer really gaining nearly the same amount of subs that we were before. This is definitely the biggest change. I think a lot of people are unsubscribing to Brawl Stars channels because they just don't enjoy the game anymore. I used to be getting probably somewhere between 50 to 100 subs a day, and now I'm getting about basically between 5 to 15, and that's really true for all these channels playing Brawl Stars, covering Brawl Stars. All of our subs are either barely above positive, and some of them are actually negative as well. Some people are losing subs for Brawl Stars. So that alone is not a good sign. I think there's some context to this, and I'll talk about that a little bit later but there's some other negative signs too the subreddit for brawl stars has been a place just with so much negativity towards the game if you look at the top posts for either the past week or the past month about half of them are negative posts about the state of the game a lot of them are complaining about auto aim or they're complaining about landscape mode or something else coming from the most recent update there's just a lot of negativity on the subreddit for Brawl Stars right now. And if the game goes global, personally, I think that's a really bad sign. You don't want all the new players going to that subreddit and seeing how everyone's just so negative and talking bad about the game. They're going to pick up that attitude. A lot of people on the internet just copy and pick up other people's opinions. I don't think it's going to be that different. I think that would happen. If global was happening today, I think that would be a really bad sign that the subreddit is as it is, and that would be really bad for any new players and the state of the future of the game. So, I do think the Brawl Stars team, if they decide to go global, they're going to need to do something to win back the subreddit, in my opinion. Whether that's rewarding beta players, now, honestly, rewarding beta players is pretty unfair to everyone who is unable to participate in the beta, but it would help with the opinion of the subreddit, the state of the subreddit for sure. I don't know, there's definitely other possible solutions out there. You guys can let me know what you think, but that is definitely a big problem right now. Some more evidence that Brawl Stars could be dying is just the activity in the bands in the game right now. It feels like there's much less activity across most of the bands. Now, this is going to be mostly anecdotal evidence, but a lot of the top bands, at the least, are much less active than they were before. A lot of the top bands from 1 through 5, their activity might have used to have been around 15 to 30 players online at most given times of the day, except for maybe at night for those majority of their players. Their bands were pretty active, very active it seemed like, and now a lot of times you're getting anywhere activity from like 5 to 15 players on at a time, maybe even less than 5. So the activity is much less, it seems like, in a lot of the bands. Now, I don't have the data on this. I couldn't tell you if that's actually true across the whole game. A lot of the features they added to the game were more for newer and beginner level players. So it does make a little bit of sense that the top is going to be less. It doesn't necessarily speak to that the bottom is less as well. That could be more. But at the least, the top bands, the most active and the most talkative bands are much less 
active than they were before. And that's definitely not a good sign. If you want to be a successful long-term game, you need your top players playing a lot. If they're not... Those are the biggest representatives for your game, and I don't think that bodes well for a long-term success for a game. Another potential factor, which I think a lot of people might be thinking about, but maybe in my opinion is not really as big, is Fortnite and PUBG are now on mobile. Now, those are two really, really popular games. They take up a lot of the streaming hours on Twitch. A lot of people watch those games on Twitch. A lot of people play those games as well, and they're now on mobile. PUBG is on iOS and Android. Fortnite is not on Android yet, so it's not quite as available yet, but I'm sure it will be. I think they're still testing and tweaking some things. That's probably why. But those are really popular games, and a lot of people might think that spells bad nude... F bad news for Brawl Stars. In my opinion, I actually don't think this is as big of a deal as you might think. Yes, those are going to be probably popular mobile games. They might take a little bit away from Brawl Stars audience, but I don't think they're direct competitors to Brawl Stars. In my opinion, they have just as much of an effect as on Brawl Stars, maybe a little bit more because they're more popular, but just as much effect as games like Vainglory or Arena of Valor. Other mobile games that are really popular and they're competitive. Brawl Stars wants to be a competitive game, and I think PUBG and Fortnite do as well. So those are similar in that sense, but to me, Brawl Stars is such a unique game that there's not many other games that really offer the same gameplay and the same style of game that Brawl Stars offers. So I don't think any of these games out there on the mobile market that are going to be popular are going to be direct competitors to Brawl Stars. Sure, they might take some people away. I don't think it's a huge deal, though. Another big thing to consider and that Brawl Stars could be dying is, well, when you combine all the things together, it definitely doesn't look very good. And when you combine that with the fact that the Supercell dev team or Supercell team has killed two beta games before after they've been in testing for around seven to eight months. And Brawl Stars has been in testing for about nine months. So a lot of people might be thinking, well, Brawl Stars has been in testing for so long they wouldn't kill it. It wouldn't be worth it. All that time and effort would be wasted. But that's not much of a factor to the Supercell team, in my opinion. I don't think that's a huge deal for them how long it's been in beta. To them, the biggest point is whether it's going to be a successful long-term game. And they thought those two other games, which were in testing for a long time, were not going to be a successful long-term game. So they killed those games. This could happen with Brawl Stars. And because of that, I do think it's a distinct possibility that Brawl Stars could be killed. All right, but now that we talked about a lot of the negatives and a lot of the things that make Brawl Stars look like it's not doing very well, let's put all this stuff in perspective and talk about maybe it's not quite as bad as we think. All right, so first off, I want to talk about who is left playing Brawl Stars. Guys, let's face it, pretty much everyone who is left still playing Brawl Stars nine months into beta testing is basically your hardcore gamers. There's not going to be many people who want to play a game in beta for nine months. And I really think we're just a really small minority of the actual population of people who will be playing Brawl Stars if it were to go global. So in reality, we are just a really vocal minority, especially the subreddit as well. The main people left who still play Brawl Stars are not an accurate representation of the people who will or would be playing the game if it were to go global. We're basically the hardcore gamers. A lot of people may have played Brawl Stars for a little bit and then stopped because maybe they got bored of the game or was beta testing so they didn't wanna to get too involved and maybe they were waiting to see if there was a really good update that would bring them back. Well, there hasn't been a really good update since the last one, so they didn't come back, and on top of that, it's beta testing, so why would they come back? It, they're basically waiting for it to go global. A lot of people are probably waiting for the game to go global to make it more worth it, so they can play with their friends. If you're not able to play with your friends, let's, let's be real, that's a big part of playing mobile games, is the accessibility and the ability to play with your friends anywhere at any time. But if you say, oh, well, too bad, buddy, it's not out on Android, so you can't play with me, or it's not out in your country, so you can't play with me, well, that's definitely a really big factor in the people that would play the game. So the people that are left are not an accurate representation of the people who will be playing global. So I do think we have to keep that in mind. 
and that maybe what we're hearing isn't exactly what we would be hearing if it were everyone else who was also playing the game. On top of that, I think there's another factor to consider as well. You have to consider the perspective of a brand new player versus us, versus the beta players who've been playing the game, who've experienced portrait mode, who've experienced tap to shoot, who've experienced throwers who are really easy to use, and mortis that was really easy to use. These new players, they have no idea what they're missing. They don't know what portrait mode was like. They don't know how much easier tap to shoot is to use compared to joystick. They have no idea. They don't know this feeling of, oh, I wish the controls were better because this is what it used to be like. But we have that feeling. We know how good the controls were. Let's be real, they were amazing. And when you compare the Brawl Stars old controls tap to shoot compared to a lot of other games, they were much, much better. Frankly, now I think the controls are basically on par with a lot of other mobile games. With Fortnite and PUBG, I think probably the controls in Brawl Stars are better than Fortnite, but probably worse than PUBG. I don't think they're that much different though. I honestly think they're all really close together as far as how good the controls are. So a lot of these new players, they have no idea what they're missing. They don't know that there were much better controls, so they're not going to feel like, oh, I wish this was a part of the game. I wish it was this. They're just going to be like, oh, you know, this is fine. You know, this brawler's cool. They're going to be like, oh, I wish I could, you know, shoot better with this brawler. They're like, oh, I should practice more so I could get better. That's basically what it is. So I definitely think that's something we have to keep in mind. But at the end of the day, the one thing that really matters is the data. What is the data saying? That's the only way we're really going to know if this update was successful or not. If the changes were the direction the team should be going or if it should be going in a different direction. That's really the only way to tell. Are people playing the game longer? Are they playing it less? Now, of course, you're going to have these hardcore beta players who know what they're missing, who knew what the better thing was. They're probably not going to like it as much because... Let's be real, they want new content, they want new features, they want a reason to play the game if they want to play with their friends more, if the controls are better, they would be playing it more. But let's be real, there wasn't new content and the controls probably got a little bit worse. That doesn't make them bad, but they got worse, so they're not going to be playing as much. It just makes sense. But what are the new players doing? Are they playing it more than the old new players are? What's the data say? Now, the thing is, we're not going to know what the data says unless Supercell tells us. So I hope they tell us. But my opinion is, frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if new players are actually playing the game more than they were before. Because let's be real. If you're a brand new player to the game, and really to any game, you're a brand new player to any game, you're going to be the worst player on the team and whatever, whatever you're playing, you're going to be the worst player at whatever it is because you're brand new. You have no idea what you're doing. You don't know any strategy. You're not used to the controls. You don't know what each brawler does. But if you have this button for you that puts you on a level a lot closer to everyone, you're going to be enjoying the game a lot more early on. So I wouldn't be surprised if new players actually enjoy the game a lot more than the old new players because they're hitting a lot more shots. It feels a lot more enjoyable. I could definitely see that. Now, I do still think it needs to be an auto-aim nerf, of course, but even with a nerf, I still think that data would probably say that. Now, I have no idea if this is true. Maybe it's not. And you're probably saying, well, Corey, sure, maybe the new players are enjoying it, but what about long-term success? You need players to play long-term, and Supercell said they need long-term success for a game to be successful. Now, you're right, that's definitely true, and I don't know if we're ever going to get that data for the time being, because obviously long-term success or long-term data takes a long time to take, and obviously we're not, we might not have that time. If Supercell is trying to figure out now whether they want to go global or not, they're probably going to be looking at the short-term data, and they're probably going to be thinking, what can we do to improve the game? Are there easy things we can do? But to be fair, we don't really know how Supercell is feeling. We don't know if they're how confident they are in Brawl Stars. Maybe they're very confident. They know that there's like some things they need to fix, and as long as the data bears out short-term, that they're gonna be fine and everything is just dandy. They're gonna ignore the negative feedback and just go with it and try and fix it as much as they can and just keep improving the game. But overall, here's my opinion on where we are with Brawl Stars. I think 
we are in a global or die situation. I think the next update probably is going to have to either be global or it might die if the data doesn't bear out. Now, maybe there could be an update and then a short period in between global and there's not another three months. But I would be surprised if there's five months until global. And I have a couple reasons for that. One, I really think the game with just one extra update wouldn't be improved by a large margin. To be fair, there were two really big updates before this last update and it those both of those updates really did improve the game by a, a lot, by a really large margin. They added new game modes, new brawlers, there was a lot of new content. I don't think they need that much new stuff at once. I don't think it would be appropriate unless it was maybe something like a clan feature, like clan wars, clan battles, something like that, that would maybe be a game-changing update that they can still do and would definitely be a good idea. But I don't know if they need to wait for global for that to happen. My other reason is beta is primarily for testing and I think they're not going to get the data they want to get from beta testing if they keep going. I think there's not going to be the same player base and they're not going to get those new players that they want. Now, the one way I think I could be wrong is they could keep going and not do global with the next update if they release it to more countries. That would definitely be another way to keep getting more data and keep getting players to continue playing the game. But let's be real. How many people want to be in beta testing for over a year? People are just going to keep quitting and there's going to be more people quitting than people joining. That's what's happening right now. And I don't think that's a good reason to continue beta testing for a long time. They're not going to get the data they want. It's not going to be accurate data. The people left are going to be very, very hardcore. And then there's going to be the really new people in any of the new countries they release. It's just not going to be an accurate representation of the population that they want to get data from. So because of those two things and all the stuff I said before, I really think this next update is a global or die situation. Now, of course, I thought the last update was going to be global and I was completely wrong. So who really knows what could happen? But let's talk about how I think there's a couple of different things that they can do to make sure Brawl Stars doesn't die and Brawl Stars can still be successful in the future. All right, so first off, one of the things that people complain about but is definitely staying, as they have said, is landscape mode. And, well, we just got to get used to that too bad. I know there's still post complaining about this. I don't know why. I get it. They want to complain and they don't like it. But they've already said they're not changing it. So, let's be real. I think we should just move on and give feedback on other things that they might actually change. Now, one thing that they did say they're testing nerfs too and in my opinion is easily the biggest thing that they can change that will improve the game dramatically is auto aim they've said they're testing nerfs for this and this is the biggest thing to change in my opinion and guys i just did a video on this check the link above on ways they could nerf auto aim the best ways they could do it to improve the game this is easily the biggest thing that needs to change in my opinion and would definitely improve the longevity of the game especially at the top end that's a really big factor is the skill gap. You need a big skill back skill gap, in my opinion, not only to be successful esport, but to be successful long term. Another really, really big thing that they can change to the game and add to the game is a lot of social features. Things like spectating, replays, the ability to share the game with friends is a really, really big feature with any sort of long term success with games. And they definitely need to add a lot more features like that stuff they said before, like expecting replays, but also a lot of clan features as well, whether it's stuff like donating to your clan mates, whether it's like a clan chest, or maybe it's like clan battles, band, band wars, band battles, something like that. Anything like that to keep you wanting to play with your friends and engage with your friends and do stuff together besides just playing the game normally is going to be a really big factor in wanting to play the game long term and driving you to keep playing every day. Going back to help out your clan is definitely, I feel like, a big obligation and definitely helps a lot with success for games. Another thing they can do is they've already said they need to increase their new player retention. So auto aim was definitely something that I think was going to help, but they could definitely improve the tutorial. I think it's kind of not very good, the tutorial right now. It's basically a 10 second tutorial. I feel like you play a Shelly, you shoot like three or four times and that's it. You don't well, you actually have to do one game of Smash and Grab with bots, and then you have to do another game, I think. Um, or maybe it's not with bots, maybe it's with real people. I don't remember. It's either with bots, whatever. 
but they need to add in more brawlers, one or two more brawlers, so you figure out that there's not just Shelly, there's long range brawlers, there's throwers, there's a lot of variety of brawlers, it would be good to see a couple more. Another thing that would be good is playing different game modes. Sure, it's good to know how to play Smash and Grab. I think that's probably one of the more popular ones, but Showdown's very popular as well. I think Showdown's pretty intuitive, so maybe you don't need to try that one out, but like Bounty you could try out, or Brawl Ball, or Heist. Probably Brawl Ball and Heist are probably the two more confusing ones. Bounty's pretty straightforward. It's basically a Team Deathmatch style. I think Showdown is pretty straightforward as well, but you could do something like Heist, or you could do Brawl Ball. I think both of those would be good game modes to show brand new players all the things that they have to look forward to. You could even do Robo Rumble and do 30 seconds of Robo Rumble and with each new brawler. That way you can test out shooting and playing all these different brawlers in Robo Rumble and you're just playing bots basically and you get to try out a ticketed mode. Something to look forward to. Now guys, I could keep going on and on about all the things that can add to the game to make Brawl Stars better, but that's not really what this video is about. This video is about whether Brawl Stars is gonna go global or will it die. In my opinion, I'm definitely an optimist. I think it's going to go global, but you never really know. Who knows what the data says? I really hope Supercell lets us know and tells us. That would obviously be fantastic, but my guess is they don't want to tell us until they really know because that's a really big commitment to make if they are wrong. A lot of people would be upset. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Is Brawl Stars going to go global or is it going to die? And if you think it's going to die, what do you think we can do to fix it? But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time.